Welcome everybody to our yin yoga practice for the back body and spine. My name is Eleni and I will be guiding you today and we'll begin in our first pose which is a child's pose. Starting by bringing our big toes to touch, our knees nice and wide and allowing the rib cage to snuggle between the thighs. Gently resting the arms out in front here, keeping the forearms rooted to the earth. Just feeling the groundedness of this pose. If you do need support underneath the forehead, feel free to bring a block here to bring the earth to you. I encourage everybody to pay attention to the body's cues throughout this practice. And if anything doesn't feel right, if there's any type of sharp pain, please either modify or come out of the pose. So let's begin by walking the hands over to our left side. So keeping that right arm reaching towards the left back corner of the mat. We'll gently allow that left arm to just wrap around the outer left calf. Allowing the forehead to stay connected to the earth here. Just feeling that gentle side body stretch, a lateral movement here through the back. Finding just a few more deep breaths here. Feel free to breathe deeply into the back body. Noticing where you're feeling that expansion on the right side. Breathing into the space of the rib cage. And we'll slowly come back through center, both arms out in front, pausing here for a moment. And then walking the hands over to the right side, keeping that left arm reaching out towards the back right corner of the mat and then draping your right arm along the outside of the right leg. Allowing the forehead to rest here Noticing length this time through the left side body. Feeling the groundedness here of this posture, taking those slow and deep breaths. Gently begin to walk the hands back through center child's pose and we'll come into our tabletop. Taking a few rounds here of our cat cow. So drawing the belly towards earth for cow pose and then rounding the spine for cat. Moving at your own pace with your own breath. Feeling that wave-like motion moving through the spine here. And from here, keeping the hips directly over the knees, walking the arms forward, we'll rest the forehead on the mat for puppy pose. So this is also known as melting heart, where we draw the heart towards the earth. We're gonna take 
half puppy where you draw your right arm in so your wrist is in line with your elbow your left arm is continuing to reach out here so I like to rest my forehead on the forearm if that's not comfortable for you or if you feel like you're squeezing or locking through the jaw just walk your right forearm forward just a tad So breathing here, finding that edge, the place between effort and ease, the middle road. So we can acknowledge the tension. We can acknowledge that dull ache. If we are feeling any sharp sensation, we make sure to come out of the pose and listen to the body's wisdom. So let's release here, come back to puppy pose or heart melting pose, and then we'll switch. Bending that left elbow, draw your left forearm either under the forehead or a little bit in front, and then rest the forehead towards the earth. So this is a heart opening pose. And of course, the rib cage, the sternum, the spine, it's all connected here. So as you're creating space through the chest and the front body, you're also helping to find that mobility through the back body. Oftentimes we round forward in our day to day. So opening the chest actually supports the muscles of the back. And when everything is in alignment, we feel much better. Hips, low back, knees, it's all connected. And let's release here. Gently come forward and slide onto the belly and we're going to rest in our crocodile pose. So stacking the palms one on top of the other and then resting the forehead here. So this is a very miniature back bend, which is the belly resting on the earth. It's a very calming and soothing pose. So even when we do yin and we focus on a particular part of the body, we will probably feel benefits and notice benefits in different areas. So often when we're doing some of these back bends, you'll feel that gentle stretch through the front body as well. So let's come into Sphinx. We'll bring the elbows directly underneath the shoulders, spreading our fingers wide Take a moment here. We might notice that we want to bring the elbows forward just a tad. Take a little bit of the depth out of the back bend. So working with what feels comfortable for you. In yin, I encourage people to walk the feet as wide as the mat if that feels good and creates space. And you're welcome to draw the chin towards the chest. And here it might feel nice to bring a block underneath the forehead. That's also an option. Noticing where we're feeling sensation here. And meeting the body exactly where it is today.
So knowing that the body will change every single day. And what we did yesterday may not be appropriate for today. And just honoring the presence of where the body's at. I will give an option here to move into seal. It's completely up to you if you feel this is appropriate for your practice. You can walk your hands to the corners of the mat, spreading the fingers wide and starting to lift the chest. A little bit of a deeper compression here, so make sure that this feels safe for your body. You'll notice that that nice front side body stretch here. So if this doesn't feel good, it doesn't feel right for us, go ahead and come back to Sphinx or just lower all the way back down to Crocodile. Notice if you're squeezing your glutes really tight here and try to relax. It's very normal for us to do that, but try to soften. We won't be here for too long. Another deep breath. And then slow motion, come all the way down and rest. Crocodile. So you can stay just as you are. You can also bend your knees and take the feet right to left and windshield wiper. So just feeling that rebound effect, allow it to move. I always talk about the beauty of yin. Let's come back to our child's pose here. The beauty of yin is that we take time to process the pose. Either staying here in traditional child's pose or taking a variation of your choice. You might bring the palms together, bending the elbows and allow the thumbs to come to the base of the neck here, coming into prayer hands. Just a little stretch through the shoulders, chest. So sometimes it's easier for us to move and go quicker and faster but slowing down to actually be, to actually process, to actually feel is almost a skill that we have to cultivate and practice in our fast paced society. So even taking those pauses in between the pose, which is necessary for the physical body, helps the mental body as well. All right, let's come up. We're gonna bring the legs forward. having our block here handy and if you don't have a block you can grab a couch pillow here as well so we're going to keep the knees bent heels underneath the knees press through the feet lift through the hips and slide your block underneath the sacrum area we'll lift the legs here And then have that very micro bend through the knees so we're not hyper extending the knee trying to get the leg completely straight. So it's a passive lift here. And then you'll feel your shoulder blades connected to the earth. The back of the head is soft and perhaps we close the eyes. Scanning the body here, scanning from head to toe. Drawing the awareness inward. Allowing your journey to be 
through the inner world of the physical body. Breath awareness. Sensation. Allowing a sense of gentleness to move throughout the body. Cultivating that sense of body kindness. By listening to the body's needs. And by carving out this special space to be present with body. Give our last few breaths here with the legs up. Gently release, we'll bend the knees, bring the feet flat. Let's pause, staying in our supported bridge, and it might feel nice to reach the arms up and overhead. If that feels good, try to keep the back of the hand grounded here, either on the floor behind you, or maybe under a blanket. taking a moment here to feel the support here through the low back and mainly connection to our sacrum area so when we do these supported postures with the block we want to make sure we feel that bone connection to the block and it's not on our low back so here let's draw our right knee in coming into a half when we're leaving pose perhaps we interlace behind the right shin you can also use a strap here and extend your left leg forward just a couple breaths here so this is really nice for that front left thigh the hip flexor area and then we'll switch go ahead and draw that left knee in right leg extends and once again everything's connected so if the front body is pulling then you'll feel it in the back body good breathing deeply and we release beautiful let's come out of this posture we'll bend the knees lift the hips slide the block out come all the way down to earth bring the feet as wide as the mat let the knees fall in towards one another take a moment Give a couple more breaths. If you'd like to take big windshield wiper here, just let the knees fall right to left, shifting the energy through the hips. Rolling onto one side gently, coming up through seated. We'll grab both of our blocks here. Once again, if you don't have two blocks, you can use a pillow here vertically, long ways along the spine. All right, first block is on its lowest level. We'll line up the lowest edge of the block to the lowest edge of our shoulder blades, and the second block will be on that next level. 
So here you can experiment with the legs. First variation is to bring your feet as wide as the mat, let the knees fall in. And then open the arms here so the palms are facing up beside the body. Another variation, if that isn't comfortable, you can just bring your feet parallel underneath the knees or extend your heels to each corner of the mat. You might also start to reach your arms up and overhead, maybe bringing the feet together and the knees wide for a butterfly pose. So finding your option here, your variation that works for you today. Feeling our back body supported here. The resting of the shoulder blades. Nice deep breaths here, taking up space. Give our last few breaths. The arms are overhead, slowly release. We'll bring the knees together and the feet flat and coming out of our pose, pressing down through the forearms, lifting up so you come into your caterpillar pose. So letting the knees bend here slightly, hinging forward from the hips, bringing belly and thigh to touch, drawing your chin into the chest. Couple breaths here. slowly start to lift go ahead and move any props that are on the mat off to the side 
We'll scooch forward and come all the way down onto the back, giving yourselves a gentle hug. Rocking the knees into the chest. Grounding through the feet here, we'll cross the right knee directly over the left. Draw the knees in for twisted roots and take a twist. So let the knees fall to the left side. Reaching the right arm out. Maybe it comes into that half goal post. Letting the back of the head be soft. Perhaps the gaze floats to the right side. When I take this bind, I often use a prop here just to support. So if that feels good for you, just slide a block or a pillow underneath the knees. Last deep breaths. Gently uncross the left leg, come back through center, give a little hug, little squeeze. And then we'll ground the feet, shimmy the hips to the left, cross your right knee directly over the left, draw the knees in, let the knees fall to the right side. Go ahead and slide a block or a prop underneath the knees if that feels good. Reaching out with that left arm, back of the head is soft. Couple more breaths here. Inhaling back through center, release, hug the knees in, little baby rocks. We'll come into a final happy baby pose, grabbing outer edges of the feet, ankles or shins, drawing the knees toward the earth and flexing the feet. Let's keep our spine nice and long, shoulder blades rooted.
Slowly begin to release, taking final rest. Maybe the legs come out long. This is an option here. You can also come into constructive rest where you bring your feet wide and let the knees fall in. So I'll demo that here and you're welcome to take that with me if you'd like. Or even just bringing a prop underneath the knees, keeping the legs long. Whatever feels good. So as we settle in, just take that gentle body scan from the crown of the head to the tip of the toes. Observing and noticing the work that's been done. And then releasing the practice, releasing the work, letting everything settle. Everything softens, everything lets go. So feel free to stay just as you are and continue to rest. Or you can start to wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers, the ankles and the wrist. We might start to reach the arms up and overhead and point the toes forward. Take that nice deep body stretch. Draw the knees into the chest. And we'll rock onto one side here and softly press up. Coming into our easy seat as we reach the arms up and overhead. Draw our inner light all the way down. Finding the palms of the heart. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Wishing you peace, love, light, and all the beautiful things.